Well, developed in the 1930s and 40s by crossing Brahmin and, Br and Angus, the Brangus breed has come an awful long way in 80 years. And joining me here from the International Brangus Breeders Association, all the way from Texas, is Macy. How, to, uh, great, how great to have you here at Beef. Thank you so much for having me, Lindsay. Now, Macy Wagner, there's been a huge evolution of the Brangus. Talk to us a bit about it. So the evolution of the breed has come a long way. With 80, we're celebrating 75 years of registrations, and we've seen the breed grow tremendously, as well as maintaining that tropical adaptation that we have with the breed, as well as keeping that carcass quality there for our breeders. Why is that tropical adaptation so important? That tropical adaptation helps them adapt to a lot of different environments where we have our breed. Um, we have different heat adaptation, so they can thermoregulate better, control their internal body temperature, as well as the ability for them to cool off. They have some parasite resistance with that as well, so they can get rid of those ticks a lot easier, not get sick from it, and it just helps with those hotter climates that we have. Where Tell us about the Branga scene in the U.S. where you're based. So we have a small staff. We're located in San Antonio, Texas. And there we have over 40,000 registrations this past year for Brangus cattle. So it's growing in the U.S.? More and more interest in Brangus? Yes, we have a lot more growth lately, as well as an increase in membership. So we have a lot of new breeders as well as the older breeders there. Tell me about your own backstory. How did you get into the world of Brangus? I got into the world of Brangus just by falling into it, honestly. Um, I did grad school with a professor who was working with the Brangus Association and they asked me to come on after grad school. I'm curious, it's your first time in Australia, is it? Yes, ma'am. First time to beef? Yes. Um, what are your thoughts? What are you going to take back home to Texas? My thoughts are, it's amazing. It is a very unique experience and I've loved getting to see some of the ranches, the scale is very different here in Australia compared to the States and I think that's one thing we can all learn and I love seeing also the working dogs was a very unique aspect of some of the locations. Do you know we sold the world record border, border collie price on Sunday here at Beef, $40,000 for a tri-coloured bitch and uh, huge world news. That is amazing. Great to see you here Macy and uh, really wonderful to hear more about the Brangus breed. Thank you so much. Well, he's a world-renowned agri-forecaster on everything from weather to meat prices. So 